In March of 2020, the owner of the YouTube channel Ridge Life was heading home from work in Memphis, Tennessee, when he is driving behind a cop who was repeatedly changing lanes without signaling and then using his lights and siren to clear cars driving in front of him, then immediately shutting them off. This cop is committing several traffic infractions as well as speeding and following too close to other cars. The cop realizes Ridge Life is following him and does a retaliatory stop. What do y'all think his reasoning for doing this was? Well, let's get into the video and see what happens. It's a license plate GY-4378. Not sure he's in a hurry. I don't know why he'd be changing lanes without using a blinker. Especially when traffic was that close. A lot of people have been saying that uh, it's okay in Tennessee to change lanes when there's nobody around you. But if you're half a car length away from somebody, front, back, and beside, I don't think that quite qualifies, does it? Now, I'm maintaining proper distance behind him. You know, he's real close to the guy in front of him, but I'm trying to maintain, you know, distance behind him. A lot of cops will do this to try to intimidate you by riding your butt to get you out of their way, even if you are going the speed limit. I've heard a saying, no matter how fast you are going, there is always someone out there that wants to go faster than you. But Ridge Life keeps on him, documenting his unsafe driving. Let's keep going. I'm blink using my blinker every lane change. I'm not going to violate laws just to catch him violating laws. A lot of people are saying that, so that's, that's, that's not cool either. I don't seek out this kind of stuff. You know, this, this guy, I'm just driving home, and this guy just pulls out in front of me. Change lane, change lane, change lane, no blinker. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. It's like there's two people in the, in the vehicle. I can see a person in the passenger seat. We figured uh, they'd hold each other accountable, both law-abiding, you know, public servants. <laughs> what? I don't see them turn their lights on and get people to get out of their way just for no reason. That's a good thing. I've seen that before. It's just terrible when you see them do that. They'll turn their lights on, make people get out of their way, and then they'll go pull into the coffee shop. It's like, what? That's not cool. But this guy's not doing that. That's good. He's just riding the butt of the guy in front of him. Again, I'm twice as far behind him as he is the guy in front of him. do it. Lights are on trying to get the guy out in front of him. He did it. I can't believe it. I called it. The officer turns on his lights to get the driver in front of him out of his way, but Ridge Life is still close behind, documenting his actions. The officer will soon notice this and pulls him over for documenting all of his traffic offenses. Cops can follow you for miles to find an infraction to pull you over. Turnabout is fair play. This cop thinks that he is pulling over Ridge Life, but in turn, he is pulling over the cop to call him out, and the officer can't help himself but to lie about his behavior, during which you will soon see. How is that possible? Oh, he's going to turn the siren on, and let's, yeah, let's see how that goes. Rides off the road.
drive the speed limit. No, sir. Um, what are you pulling me over for? You're. No, no. What what violation are you pulling me over for? You doing 80 behind me while I'm trying to help you. No, this call. sir. I was not going 80 behind yes, you. Yes, sir. You were no. You were Guess not what? doing 80. We got balls right here in the window that gets the speed. Slow I, down. All right. Um, I'm gonna follow you, sir. All right. Got no. You. Follow me again while I'm headed to this call. I will disregard the call and I will get you a ticket. When you got on the interstate back when you were on the call. Guess what? Yes, sir. We got stuff that we had to traffic on the interstate. Yes, right? sir. I'm yeah. tra traffic. Okay. That means traffic. And what was that traffic call you're on? A fatal accident. Oh my Slow gosh. Down. You pulled me over to stop, and there's a fatal accident up there. I got an officer already over there. I'm trying to get there. Oh, so okay. You get out you're of the second way. here. All right. He is obviously lying because Ridge Life did his research about if there was any fatal accidents reported that day, and there wasn't any. But let's say there was. No sirens or emergency lights were activated during this cop's drive to this supposed call. Driving to an emergency call can have huge consequences. I want to refer you to a small clip of a video recently posted by Brian from Here's the Deal YouTube channel of what can happen if cops are headed to a priority call without their lights and sirens activated. Then we'll get back to the video. Who would jeopardize the lives of everybody in this convenience store parking lot while speeding down the road without lights and sirens? Check this out. Now we're going to see a different view of this, this truck right here. We're going to watch the owner of this truck try to get into his truck and how he narrowly escaped with his life. And we're going to see that, the, here we go right here. Watch this. The first police car, no lights, no sirens. Check that out. Speeding down the road. The second guy is going to come. This guy is going to pull out after having come to a complete stop at this stop sign right here. The second cop is going to come up. Veer off, hit that truck, narrowly miss that guy. No lights, no sirens on a supposed emergency call. Here's another angle. First cop car, no lights and sirens. Second cop car loses control. Unbelievable. You can see the crash unfold outside the Gold Mine General Store in Catawba County. Surveillance video clearly shows the moment the deputy lost control of his SUV while trying to avoid a pickup truck pulling out from the Dollar General across the street. Elmer Evans heard about the crash and watched the video of that deputy strike three parked cars while narrowing missing a customer. All right, so and you have to speed in your secondary? secondary. You have what? to speed at 80 some odd miles an hour because you're the secondary unit on call? He's the only one on the scene, okay? Yes, sir. So slow down, all right? Uh, well, yes, sir, but uh, you need to obey the law as well, sir. As you can see here, after his encounter with this lying cop, quote, I held back and he turned his lights off when he was several cars ahead. I'll tell you one thing. Can you imagine if that cop gave him a ticket out of retaliation for documenting his unsafe driving? The judge would have thrown out that ticket once he was able to watch the dash cam footage from Ridge Life's defense lawyer. But since the officer buckled and bounced, a ticket was never issued because he knew he got caught, then lied about his driving when he got called out. This is why it's always important to have a dash cam. Let me know what y'all think about this interaction in the comments section, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Hey, honest citizens are going to stand up to you crooked chops. They are? Oh, no. Have, have they set a date? Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at the man and walk by me, yeah, I'm